Um, could you help me with something? Oh, hey, Ashley, sure. Yeah, just a minute. Um, well, I kind of, can you help me now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Patricia, <laughs> I need your help. What? Well, could you take some of these? There's All right. way too much. Since you won't stop bothering me, I guess. <sighs> <sighs> what were you so busy with anyway? Well, I was working on this week's kids lesson. It's another one of those stories that Jesus told his followers to teach them about God. This week, it's about a woman whose husband had died. And in those days, women didn't usually have their own money, so they couldn't take care of themselves. Oh, that sounds really sad. What happened to her? Well, someone was taking advantage of her and not treating her fairly. We don't really know the details, but she went to a judge to try and get help. But that judge didn't really care about people or about God, and he didn't want to help her. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, but the woman was very persistent. She wouldn't give up and kept asking again and again until the judge finally got tired of her asking him for help and then decided to help her. Huh, kind of like when I was asking you for help. I asked you over and over again and you were getting annoyed, but I clearly needed your help. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's okay, but I guess it goes to show that sometimes you have to ask for something again and again if it's really important to you. Exactly. And Jesus even compared this story to prayer and how sometimes we have to pray for something over and over again until we get an answer. Is that because God is like the mean judge in the story who doesn't listen to us? No, actually it's the opposite. God is a good judge who cares about us and wants us to ask for what we need. But God also wants to help us grow in our faith by praying and not giving up even when we don't get an answer right away. Oh, I see. If even the mean judge helped the widow in the end, how much more would God, who is good and loves us, listen to our prayers when we pray really hard about something? Exactly. Have you ever prayed really hard about something and God answered it? Remember the story last week about my dog trousers and how he ran away and I was so worried. I prayed with my friend over the phone and he ended up coming back. That was a big time where God answered my prayer. Oh yeah, I remember that. God's actually answered my prayers before too. There was once this time when I was really young and my family had just moved to a new place and I was going to a brand new school and I didn't know anyone. So I was feeling pretty lonely and I used to actually sit by myself outside at lunchtime because I was too embarrassed to sit in the lunchroom alone. It took some time, but after a while, God helped me to find lots of great friends, and now I have friends from all the different places that I've lived. You lived in a lot of different places? Oh yeah, I once lived in the Philippines where my parents are from, and I've also lived in BC, um, Ontario, and now Alberta. And God's been with me and taken care of me no matter where I've gone. Wow, God is so good. Absolutely. I bet the kids will have lots of stories too about how God has been so good to them and answered their prayers. I can't wait to hear all about it. Me too. By the way, what is this lesson called? It's called Don't Give Up When You Pray. Huh, it's a great reminder. <laughs>